And as the Lakers entered the building, there was a fierce look in their eyes. That's the look of a team out to defend its home court. Thursday night, the best night of the week for NBA basketball. Hi there, everybody, and thanks for being with us on 2K Sports. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson, and Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Well, Anthony Davis grew up in Chicago during the Jordan years, so is that why he wears number 23? He said, quote, I wore number three in grade school. In high school, I asked for that number. Coach said, you'll get whatever I give you out of this bag. He grabbed out a jersey and threw it to me, and it was number 23. Guys, AD said that'll work. No doubt. Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. We've got two teams here that like to play up-tempo, hoping to find lots of fast-break points tonight, RJ. Yeah, it could be tough when both squads have this type of speed. It makes it a little bit harder to escape the defense. And look, everybody will keep the ball locked up tight tonight. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. And it's DeRozan in at the small forward position. And for Los Angeles. Angeles, the big three for this team out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at forward. Thomas Bryant out there with Patrick Beverly. Now here's Levine. It's hauled in by Beverly. Pass to James. Ryan, the screen on DeRozan. It's James with the drive. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Mm. Okay, King James. Look, there is no stopping Braun when he gets on the bounce. LeBron is second all-time on the NBA career scoring list. It's just him and Kareem at the top. As long as he stays healthy, the King will set that record. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Davis with a screen on ball. And it's Westbrook off the drive. And finished off by Westbrook. Just an elite decision maker. Westbrook makes strong reads in the pick and roll. Well, with all of LeBron's accomplishments, Richard, how would you rank breaking the scoring record? For me, it's up there with anything LeBron James has done. This record, I don't think anyone's going to break it. James on the wing. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Beverly shot off. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. This is what Ball is known for. A selfless player who is terrific at facilitating the offense. And it's James with the jam. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. The Bulls have gone two of three from the floor. James against DeRozan. Williams a screen on James. DeRozan double team. Ball against Westbrook. Clock at six. Picked by Vucevic. Here's Ball. Not going to go that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. High post Davis. Vucevic against James. When you look at the career Ron has put together, one of the all-time greats, amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. First team ball. At the line for the Lakers. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. Ball finds DeRozan. Over James. And it's DeRozan missing. 
and the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high school. That one no good. Chicago trailing here. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. The Lakers have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Ball against Beverly. Pass to Westbrook. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Westbrook's gotten his second bucket. In the paint, Westbrook's agility makes him a tough cover. He just slips past the D and gets his shot. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And Levine throws it down. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Andre Drummond has checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. White, he's checked in for Levine. And Drogic has subbed in for Ball. And the Bulls, that's a team that's built to win now. But boy, is the top of the Eastern Conference stacked. To the middle. Here's Davis. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Now look, I can't think of a better partner to have a pick and roll with than Davis. Sets hard screens and has soft hands to match. Pass to Dragic. 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now Drummond. And here is Green. Dragic passes to Drummond. Shoots over Walker. The Lakers with a rebound. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make them all. Pass to Davis. To the right side. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Oh, rejected by Drummond. And he's able to get it back. And the ball out of play. The Bulls will have it. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Dragic against Walker. From downtown. The shot, no good. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The Lakers on top, up five. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? The Lakers in the lead. They've got Lonnie Walker. Juan Toscano Anderson is out there with LeBron James. And it's Gabriel in at the four. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. For such a big dude, all he needs is just a little bit of daylight, and LeBron is going to be hanging on that rim. Caruso outside. Pass to Vucevic. And the power finished by Vucevic. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Chicago with the ball. It's a five-point game. Pass to Levine. And RJ, you took a part in a lot of playoff basketball. Compare the intensity of the regular season versus the postseason. It's so different preparing for a regular season game than a postseason game. You have more experience. You understand what the other team is going to do. So the prep is that much more higher, but you also have to execute at an entirely different level. 
We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's Levine. Tries again. Nasumu on the wing. Three-pointer. And Reeves pulls it down. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Walker. And the jam by Walker. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Now here's Levine. He's closely guarded. Kept alive. Here's Vucevic. You love a big man like Vucevic. Puts in the effort to keep improving. For example, look at what he's done with this perimeter shooting. And he knocks down the first one. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? Williams has checked in for Chicago. Ball comes in for Caruso. Williams in the post. Pounded by Westbrook. Williams on the wing. Pass to Vucevic. Shoots. Carries the seven-footer. Vucevic has got eight. Getting points inside is no problem for Vucevic. He consistently finds these openings. There's a screen. To the inside. Toscano. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Outside, green. Picked by Vucevic. And Ball gets it to go. Nice quick trigger from Ball right there. Good at sizing up the defense and knowing when to shoot off the pass. For Los Angeles, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Westbrook with it. Guarded now by Williams. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to DeSumo. Outside, Green. Inside, here's Vucevic. And that comes off the assist by Green. Vucevic has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Westbrook outside. Beverly with it. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. Just three to shoot. Here's Bryant. And there's another one for the Lakers. There's 47 seconds left in the first half of this game. Up top ball. Pounded by Westbrook. Here's Vucevic. No good on the shot. And the Lakers going the other way now. Here's Toscano. Over to the left wing. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Westbrook against Ball. And Ball throws it down. You're taller than you think. Lonzo is a sneaky 6-6. Westbrook with it. And stolen by Williams. Tie game in Los Angeles. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Nikola Vucevic has been sensational. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Second half underway. Here's who Billy Donovan's got on the floor. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. 
In at forward, it's DeRozan and Williams. And it's Vucevic in at the pivot spot, panning the middle. And finished off by Davis. What do you want? Agility, he's got it. Height, he's got it. Davis has every advantage on this play. Defenses just can't effectively counter him. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. He's having a good night from the field. Now, I know the defense is really keying in on him, but they need him involved if they're going to pull this out. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. And the dunk by Levine! One of the best dunkers of this era. Levine loves to put on a show. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time. Richard. Yeah, Will, Kareem, Shaq, Al Gasol. The Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. Ball passes to Williams. Vucevic, a screen on Davis. Here's Williams. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he drops the first. Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And, and what a haul they got from Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner. And he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals. But Chicago got a stud. Gabriel, he's checked in for the Lakers. Walker comes in for Beverly. DeRozan passes to Dragic. Outside for Levine. Takes the three. Hits the trifecta. Levine's got nine. Off the pass, Levine is more or less just automatic. He just lets it fly. The Lakers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. James passes to Walker. Back to James. James double team. Hook loose. It's stolen by Drummond. Left side, Williams. Pass to DeRozan. Williams, a screen on Walker. Here's DeRozan. Rebounded by the Lakers. Drummond. And there's another one for the Bulls. This is the exact energy you like to see from Drummond. He can be a monster on the offensive glass. DeRozan against James. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the three-point shot, so important, Richard. That's something you added after you came into the league. What was that process like? Well, look, as the game tilted that direction, it, it was no secret. You have to put in that time. But what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one. So as long as you're putting in the work, you're going to see the results. Those who evolve are those who stay around. Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. And the Bulls also making a change. White, he's checked in for Williams. What? Like, like, what? like, what is going on right now? Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Outside Walker. Pass to Gabriel. Here's Toscano. There's the triple. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. He's got seven. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Here's Levine. The Lakers with a rebound. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Toscano. Back to Davis. And finished off by Davis. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Timeout called. The Bulls. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. The Bulls making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. Caruso. And 
here's Levine. He's got nine. Now here's DeRozan. Drummond with the screen. DeRozan with the ball. And Davis picks him up defensively. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Pass to Toscano. It's Walker on the wing. Davis with a screen on Caruso. Here's Toscano. Shot clock at six. Davis with it. And finished off by Davis. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Levine with a screen on Walker. DeRozan outside to the paint. Here's Drummond. Oh, and the dunk by Drummond! Showing off some mobility there. When Drummond rolls like this, he's hard to stop in pick and rolls. Now Walker. Davis with a screen on Caruso. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. First team foul. Substitute on the court. With one on the clock. Doesn't go for him. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. The Lakers on top, up two. And time to step away quickly. But... And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. The big three for this team out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at forward. Patrick Beverly out there with Thomas Bryant. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bryant. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Williams is checked in for Chicago. Here's Ball. Just five to shoot. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Beverly. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. James passes to Bryant. Westbrook against DeRozan. And the basket by Westbrook. And the Lakers lead by four. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Ball finds Williams. Down low. And it's Vucevic, that time on the assist from Williams. In terms of pure scores, Vucevic, one of the best in the game. Davis with a screen on DeRozan. 18 feet out. And too long on the shot. The Bulls have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Ball into the lane. And Ball throws it down. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team. And they will take it in a close game like this. Oh, that's a big bucket. Putting the offense on his shoulders right there. For Chicago, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Caruso to take the lead. And he can't get that one. And the Lakers going the other way now. James, left side. Inside. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Off the mark there with a three. Chicago's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Now ball. Pass to DeRozan. Drops in the layup for two. Goes in there with no doubt. DeRozan, fearless. Davis with a screen on ball. And Westbrook slams it home. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. We'll take it. Williams, a screen on Westbrook. Here's Ball. 
tips it. It's good on the putback. Look to a machine like Vooch when you need him most. He's a reliable offensive option who comes through for his club. The Lakers call timeout. Levine, he's checked in for Caruso. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. He told them, this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. Thanks for that, Allie. The Bulls have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. And, De and DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Ryan, a screen on DeRozan. James with the ball, picked up by DeRozan. In transition! James with the block! With the block. Look, the shooters are working hard, but he is all over them. Knocked loose. Levine with a steal. And now the Bulls in transition. Let's it go from 11. And it's DeRozan missing. The Lakers trail. James is screen on Vucevic. Bryant pass to Beverly. There's the drive. the wing Davis Williams defending Bryant out to James pass to Westbrook they shoot again 55 seconds left in the game here's ball great D that time from Beverly now Los Angeles with it Davis the screen. James with the ball. Guarded now by Williams. It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Score tied at 43. There's 39 seconds left in the final quarter. Vucevic finds DeRozan. Now here's Ball. To the paint. Here's Vucevic. Money! That's clutch. A veteran in this league, Vucevic has been in this situation many times throughout his career. Shot and game clock separated by five. James passes to Bryant. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. That's his first personal foul. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. And he's able to hit the second one. And that narrows the gap to one. And here's Chicago. And they foul intentionally. Now they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. Here's Levine, and now they decide to foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that'll put him up two. You gotta love how competitive Levine is. I mean, he has no problem going to the line in these big moments. Wow, doing all he can to give them the edge, pulling their lead out to three points. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They trail by three. 20 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Davis, no good on that free throw. Maybe not the guy you want at the line, but Davis is a competitor, and he knows what's at stake here. So the first one drops, and that'll put him up two. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a three-point game. And looking to even the score with a huge three. That's their only option. They have to get a good look from deep here. James passes to Davis. 
Chicago grabs the miss. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. A consistent free throw shooter. Levine has the skill to own this moment. Beverly for three. So it's the Bulls taking the W in a close one. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson saying...